Hi, this is a short video on how to use the T1 Inspire to work out various things such as mean, medium, mode, standard deviation really quickly. So let's, we're going to do three short examples. So here's one. What we have here is we have six pieces of raw data regarding how much time someone spends playing computer games in minutes. So on day one, they spend 121 minutes and so on and so forth. Okay. So what we're going to do is going to use RT1 Inspire to work out mean, median, standard deviation, like we said. Right, so let's get our calculator. Right, what we need to do is make a brand new spreadsheet. So here's our home screen. Okay, so make a brand new spreadsheet. So it's got 1.1 written at the top and there's no other tabs. And what we need to do is just type in our raw data the way we see it. So 121 in the first cell, press enter. Then it's 65, 45, 130, 150, and 83. Okay, right. It's always a good idea to label the column, but I won't do it here. I'll do it on another example. Um, so let's work out mean and so on. So we go to menu, stats, stats calculation, and we want the top one, which is one variable stats. Okay, it says number of lists. Well, we have one list. Okay, and here it says, which column's got your data in? Well, if I labeled the column, it would pop up here on this drop-down list. But it's in column A. It's fine. If we press tab to go down, it says, do you have a frequency list? No, so we just leave it at one. But the last one's important here. It says where, well, basically, it's basically where the results are going to go. And this column needs to be empty. So column B is completely empty. So we can get the calculator to stick the results in here. So we press OK. And if we look down column B, we've got all the different titles, and here are our results. So X bar, the mean is 99. So when you add them all up, divide by how many there are, that's the average, 99. This one here is a standard deviation. Standard deviation is 37.4. That's how spread out the data is, the consistency. Um, N it says is 6 and what N means is how many pieces of data you have and like we had here we've got 6 pieces of data so that's what it's telling us okay and these 5 pieces of information are important as well it tells you the minimum the quarter 1, medium, quarter 3 and your maximum okay so these 5 pieces of information will help you draw a box plot like this okay so if I quickly make a sketch of a box plot it looks something like this not very good. Um, so you would draw a line at your minimum value. This would be Q1. This will be your median. This will be Q3. And this will be your maximum. Okay, that's what your box plot will look like. And the other thing you can work out from this is your interquartile range. Okay, your interquartile range, if we go back to here, your interquartile range, IQR, is your upper quartile take away your lower quartile. So effectively, your upper quartile is Q3, which is 130, minus your lower quartile, which is 65, Q1. It's the lower quartile, 65. And the difference between those two is 65 again, so that's your um, interquartile range. Okay, let's look at another example. Here we have data that's inside a table. So it says data shows how many times three coins landed on heads, so I should really delete that there. So how many times three coins landed on heads? So they were thrown at the same time, and um, they all landed on the tails four times, okay, and so on and so forth, okay? So what we're going to do is work out the mean, median, and so on from this group, from this table data. So we've got our data and the frequency. Okay, let's go to our calculator. First of all, let's close this down. And say no, we don't want to save it, and let's make a brand new one, so 1.1, so it doesn't mess things up. Okay, let's label our columns first. So let's say D for data and F for frequency. Okay, now what we need to do is copy in this table the way we see it, exactly the same way, but we don't need to know the total, so we don't need this piece of information. Okay, so we just need these two columns basically. So let's type that in 0, 1, 2, 3. Is the data, press enter, go to the top, and then 4, 12, 11, and 3. Okay, now, let's work out the mean and so on. So menu, stats, 
stats calculation, we want one variable again, because it's to do with one particular variable, how many times it lands on heads, that's one thing. Press OK, we always press OK on this, even though we've got two columns, we just press OK on, so the number of lists is one, just press OK. All right, this bit here, we need to do various things. So first of all, let's tell it where our data is, so our X1 list. Drop down menu, you can see it's got D, because we labeled it column D, that's where our data is. Now, this one here, we need to change this to our frequency list. We have a frequency list, it's in column F for frequency. Okay, and then we can ignore the middle two by just pressing tab and then go to the bottom one. Right, this is, again is saying which column's empty to put the results in. Column C is empty, so press OK. And then we got our information here. We've got X bar is 1.43 recurring. That's the mean, that's the average. And you add them all up to 5 by MAR. Standard deviation is 0.84, that's how I spread out the data. We've got 30 bits of data, remember it says 30 here. Well, that's that. And then we've got the five piece of information to help us to either draw a box plot and so on. Um, again, we can work out the interquartile range. It's basically the difference between that number here, quarter three, your upper quartile, and quarter one, your lower quartile. The difference between them is one, that will be the interquartile range. Okay, let's look at our final example. Okay, this time we have a slightly different table. So if we read the information, it says Kylie pitched a softball 50 times. So when we add these frequencies up, we should get 50 down here. Um, and the speeds of a pitch are recorded here. So we have in kilometers per hour, she threw the ball um, eight times where the speed was somewhere between 80 and 85. Okay, so eight times. We don't know exactly if it was 80, but we know somewhere either greater than or equal to 80, but less than 85. Right, because this is grouped data, okay, grouped, grouped continuous data, so it's in these intervals, we have to basically take a guess as to what those eight throws are going to be. So what we need to do here is we need to write down the midpoints, and this is what we're going to type into our calculator. Okay, so we want to write down the midpoint of these two numbers. Well, the midpoint at 1885, halfway between them is 82.5. If you're not sure how to work that out, okay, to work out the middle of two numbers, you just basically add them and then you halve that, and that will give you 82.5. Okay, let me write down the others really quickly. That will be 87.5, 92.5, and then 97.5, okay? Right, we can now, just for now, ignore this column, okay? So what we're going to use is we're going to use these numbers here and our frequency list to work out standard deviation mean and so on. So we go to our calculator, Again, let's close this down and say no, make a brand new one up. And let's label our columns first of all. So let's say S speed, for, you know, because these are speeds, this column's do speed, and then F frequency. Okay, so again, we're gonna, not going to type these in, we're going to have to type these midpoint values in. So 82.5 is our data, nine, and then 87.5, 92.5, and then 97.5. And then our frequency column is going to be 8, 14, 22, and 6. And then we follow the same menu screens, exactly the same ones as the previous ones, so uh, previous example. So stats, stats calculation, one variable, press OK, right. So actually, let me do that again. So on this one, remember, number of lists is one. Even though we've got two columns, just press OK. Right, our data is in column S and our frequencies in column F, and we want the results to go in an empty column, and column C is empty, press OK, and here we have our information, so X bar is 90.1, so on average, the mean, she threw the ball 90.1 kilometers per hour, her standard deviation is 4.5 roughly, so 4.5 is how consistent she is, and consistent the speeds are, N is 50, so she threw the ball 50 times, and then these are the numbers to work out, uh, to either draw a box plot or work out the interquartile range. So interquartile range would be the difference between Q3 upper and Q1 the lower. And then the median obviously is 92.5. Okay, and that's pretty much it for the calculator and these basic stats stuff.